Good evening. This is Dr. George Brooks with an update on the aquaponics victory garden. The date is January 26, 2021. And our subject for today is how much of your annual diet can aquaponics actually grow? Now, over the past few months, we have been working on a way to demonstrate, try to demonstrate that uh, we could actually revitalize the old Victory Garden model in backyards if we were able to use aquaponics, in this case, the kind that we use here that is made out of these kiddie pools. And that um, everyone wants to grow Victory Gardens, but no one really have, has the room. If we could grow what a Victory Garden could grow, the model could be used again, and it could help to feed a lot of people. Now, the obituary garden model is what was really, really interesting because its idea was to grow all the vegetables needed for a family. And we also know that uh, the idea worked and that during, not, during the uh, World War II, 20 million families grew 40% of the U.S. food supply, and it was 8 million tons in their backyards with this idea and that uh, the idea of the Victory Garden, it was originally called the War Gardens in World War I. They were very successful, but the work of George Washington Carver between World War I and World War II inspired the federal government to change the name to a name that Carver was using in his work, Victory, to change the names, but most appropriately, from the War Gardens to the Victory Gardens. And we already know that the, when you average out all of the families growing all that food, it came out to about 800 pounds per family. Now, I couldn't find a picture of 800 pounds of vegetables, but this cow gives you an idea of what it is you're trying to grow in your backyard while it's, while it's, uh, it's challenging to do so. But we just we did some numbers in the number in the video I'll link to here that, that shows us that um, we, within the 400 square foot garden space we have today in modern backyards, we can indeed produce 800 or even more more pounds of food using aquaponics, such as you have here. So that's great. But what about? The other sides of the questions. That's the great thing about data. It allows you to ask new questions based upon the information that you have. And now the question is, because I have some new information to present to you, how much of an annual diet can aquaponics actually grow? No, as we all see aquaponics and hydroponics with wonderful production of lettuce. But man does not live that by a woman by lettuce alone. So what else can it grow? What what percentage, without going any through any unusual hoops things that we know that we can grow today, can of your diet can aquaponics actually grow if you have the facilities in your backyard to do it? So such as in this photograph, you don't see you see some lettuce, but you see all kinds of other plants. It's called polyculture. And so what kind of plants and other things can it do to produce your diet annually? So let's take a look at what that entails. Now, as I said, man does not live by lettuce alone. Now, this article came out in 2011 by uh, National Public Radio. And it said that the average American ate in that year literally a ton of food. So let's get into some details on that. Here's a graph that was associated with that article. What are we eating? Now, uh, the average for 2011 was 1,996.3 pounds per year. And that's based upon the average man being five foot nine, the average woman being five foot four, weight average man, 190 pounds. I guess a little, I'm a little heavy and the average woman being 164 pounds. Now within the data from that year, which I don't think has changed probably all that much, 
I said it may, it may have come down somewhat because of this age of food insecurity that we're in. Um, look at this wheel. Um, the average American U.S. citizen um, ate 85 pounds of butter and oils, 273 pounds, 0.2, of fruit, 24 pounds of citrus, and now it says 415 pounds of vegetables, even though they show a pepper, which is technically a fruit. <laughs> so we'll have to look in, into that. But 415.4 pounds of vegetables, um, 56 pounds of corn, just straight sugar, we ate 141 pounds, almost 142 pounds of sugar, no wonder folks have diabetes these days. Uh, flour and cereals, 192 pounds. Uh, beverage milk, uh, milk, 181 pounds. Personally, I don't drink milk. Um, though I do love um, dairy products, um, uh, 600 pounds, 600 pounds of milk. Uh, cheese, et cetera, et cetera. Fish, uh, 16.1. Chicken, uh, 60, no, 73. Well, poke. Poultry in general, uh, 73.6, and red meat, um, it looks like 110 pounds of red meat. Now, on this wheel, if you pull out the things that we know that we can grow, I mean, not hypotheticals like can we grow corn uh, productively, can we grow rice or other such things, things that we know today without a doubt we can grow in aquaponics. And those things are, for this study, 16 pounds of fish. We know we can grow fish and we know we can grow fish successfully and to market size. It's just a matter of having the skill to do so. The 415 pounds of vegetables, we know we can do that. We know that there's a wide variety of vegetables that we can grow, even if they are including uh, peppers and probably tomatoes as vegetables. Mm, okay. Um, fruit, 273 pounds. We know that we can grow melons, we can grow cucumbers, we can grow strawberries, we can grow, grow a wide variety of fruit. Strangely, don't have beans on here. Hmm. But in, anyway, of these three items that we know we can grow in aquaponics, it comes up to a total of 704.7 pounds. So of this 2,000 pounds, 704 pounds of it, 0.7, uh, what is food that we know that we can grow. In other words, when you add it all up and do it as a percentage, aquaponics can produce 35% of the food we eat every year from our backyards. If we have a big enough backyard and if we have the facilities there. That means aquaponics can produce a full one third of your diet if you wanted it to. And part of the study is to find the best ways to make this backyard concept possible. 35%, one third, that's not bad. But let's delve a little bit further into it. What does it, how much, how, how big an aquaponics facility would we have to have in order to produce the, the, the 35% for one person, 704 pounds for one person. In, that, in this experiment, we've been using our kiddie pool system. We got 290 pounds out of it last year. Now this was a bad growing year because of bad weather. You know, that, and that's going to occur. I've gotten 400 pounds out of this, but 290 pounds. 300 pounds, so the, the, that's taking into account some realities there, so let's do that, okay? So 290 pounds, so if we, if we had three of these systems, it would produce 870 pounds of fish, fruits, and vegetables. That's more than we need by more than 100, what is it, 170, um, 704, so that, that's more than 160 pounds more Food, food than we need for one person. But I, instead of going in here and saying, well, it's, it's going to be 
two plus one third system. No, we're going to say all three of them that we got and the rest of the food we can sell. Great, this game is an excess. But is there any other ways of doing that? That we're going to look at in the future videos. So thank you for your time tonight. I wanted to make this fast. If you have any questions, please lay them out in the question box boxes and comment boxes, and we'll try to answer them for you before our next video. Take care, my friends, and be safe out there in this pandemic.